Right, so John, 2 0 win, 10 games unbeaten now. Is that very good, very professional afternoon's performance, would you say? Yeah, it felt comfortable. Um, I thought we managed the game brilliantly. You know, after going 2 0 um, in the first half, deservedly so, from two, you know, well constructed goals, uh, I thought second half. We look really comfortable. Um, no nerves, considering what's what's at stake. Um, and it was it was a really good performance. What you know, throughout in possession, out possession, really pleased. You say well constructed. I think two moments of real quality with the free kick and the del- delivery from Tom coming in. Would you agree? I, yeah, I don't. You know, we look at the pitch and, and things like that, and the way that that Nuneaton was set up. Um, I think th- there was probably four or five moments in the game of, of real quality, and two led to. So Pidgey's and, and, and Nick strike um, two brilliant goals, you know, for different reasons. Um, and actually, the build-up play to, to, to get both set pieces was really good as well. So um, we, we're showing signs of quality, you know, of, of where we are. And as I say, you know, um, at this stage of the season, you know, it's um, we, we know it's all about winning games, um, and we, we, we're finding that way. You said ten, ten on beat and two clean sheets on the bounce, and, and looking strong. I'll pick up on those clean sheets. How big is that? Because. There's not been that many this year, uh, calendar year particularly. Is that something really to build on going into the last three? Yeah, I think I mean, it's funny because me and Burn were talking about it this week about for, for, for as, as good as we are as a back four, back five as a unit and defensively as a team, there's a lot of onus on the lads to, to attack as, as a group as well. And, and, and with that, you don't probably get the, the amount of clean sheets we should do. You know, at times we can be a little bit too expansive and, and, and end up conceding um, on the break, or whether it be like Curzon was a couple of weeks ago in the dying seconds. Um, but we are a much better defensive side than, than probably our goals against suggest. Um, and I think Pidge and, and Ogun were, were, were unbelievable today. Um, but the fullbacks as well, you know, in Nuts and, and, and Ibu, who come back in after his ban, um, joining in, um, going the other way, were, were, were great as well. So, you know, it was, as I say, it was a good performance. Re- really pleased Scott and Gus, Scott coming back into the team after a long layoff. We, we've said to the lads, you know, we've got a, a group of 18, 19, 20 players, and, and they're all playing the part. There's nobody, you know, you, you, not part of the squad that, that isn't played. So they're waiting for the turn, but when they're coming in, they, they, they're showing the, the class. I think Bernard said last week, started off, it's another one shorts off. Same again today in South Wales on Tuesday, rearranged one. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, you look forward to every single game. You know, what have we got left? 300 minutes maximum of football of a season, you know, all, all told with, with injury time and stuff. That's all that's left. You've got to embrace, embrace these times. You know, we've been here enough times as a group and uh, as a management team to, to understand the, the feelings you get at the back end when, you, when you're playing for something. But as I say, you know, there's no, there's no nerves or jitters amongst the boys. They're looking at one game at a time. We're not looking beyond absolutely nothing now, apart from, from South Portitude, which we know will be a tough game. We know that, you know, they've got Steve Alson and, and Billy and, and players like that who, who, who will be desperate to be playing against us but um, it represents another opportunity for us to put another three points on the board getting closer to that you know where we want to be